Hey guys, it's Warners. I have another build for you. The reason I have Will's face covered up right now is there's an appearance change that happens in the game. And if you don't want spoilers for that, then this video is probably not for you. So that being said, I will now reveal his face. Today we're going to be doing a Warlock Bard multi-class. And this is mostly going for like, when you first encounter Will in the Goblin fight at the Druid Grove, the kind of aesthetic that he is going for is like the duelist aesthetic with some Warlock stuff going on. And mechanically speaking, a warlock can benefit from that, but I feel like the bard is a really great multi-class, specifically the swords bard, to sort of give that flavor of the duelist. And mechanically speaking, you can make it pretty good. So I'm going to show you today how to make that. So we're going to start with the 1 to 12 build breakdown, then we're going to go over the gear. There's a lot of really good gear that sort of goes with that fiend warlock vibes as well as really mechanically makes the duelist thing work out really well and then we'll do the build in action section and i had a lot of fun with that <laughs> A lot of interesting stuff going on there. So yeah, that being said, let's go ahead and go into the 1 to 12 build. By the way, guys, I've been getting a lot of support lately. Thank you all so much for that. I think at the time of recording, I have like 215 subscribers and I really appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm getting close to that 500 goal and very happy about that. Thank you all for that. All right, guys, for level one, you can honestly go Bard or Warlock. The main difference is you're gonna get uh, proficiency with wisdom saves if you go warlock. And if you go bard, you're gonna get proficiency in deck saves. I'm gonna be dumping my wisdom more than my deck, so I want I want the wisdom proficiency. Anyway, Eldritch Blast and Friends. Friends is pretty good. Spells, go with Hellish Rebuke. It'll be really good for this build. And then as far as stats go, obviously get that Charisma way up. You can dump Strength. So for stats, we're going, we want a decent dex, pretty good con. We're gonna max out that Charisma, of course. And then, uh, you know, you could get Wisdom to at least a 10 just to, for wisdom saves. Level two warlock, grab the typical Eldritch Invocations. Agonizing Blast and Repelling Blast are great. Pick whatevs, you're, we're gonna we're gonna switch out a spell later anyway. If you're leveling this from level one, Hex is pretty good early level. Level three warlock, we go Pack to the Blade, of course. And then Hold Person is a good spell, grab that. Cantrips, I like having Bone Chill just in case I don't want someone to heal. Probably not gonna use it that much anyway though. Picking up Misty Step is a good idea. And then we're gonna go Ability Score Improvement, Charisma. Warlock, level five, we get our Extra Attack, Pack Boon. And as you guys probably know, I talked about this in my Karlak Warlock multi-class build. The Extra Attack, from Warlock Deep Impact stacks with the extra attack from any other class. So Bard, Swords Bard is what we're going in. Swords Bard gets the extra attack at level six. So you're gonna be able to take advantage of that. Spells, good. Uh, Hunger of Hadar is a good spell, so go for that. You're gonna replace whatever you picked and then go for Fireball. I'm gonna pick Hypnotic Pattern when I get to Bard. This is a really good spell. Bard will not have access to Fireball, at least this Bard will not. So we'll go for that. Okay, level six is when we switch to Bard. Cantrips, Vicious Mockery is good. Go for like Mage Hand, Minor Illusion, whatever you feel like, honestly. For first level, Thunder Wave, Fairy Fire, I consider really good first level spells. Starting instrument? Do, do whatever you want, I'm going loot just cause it looks cool. Level two Bard, you get Jack of All Trades. This is really good for like role playing scenarios. And you know, for, yeah, you, you get to add your proficiency bonus to ability checks that you're not proficient in. That's real nice. You get Song of Rest. This is a really good ability. It makes it so you basically get an extra short rest every day. And so yeah, that's pretty sick. You get three short rests per day. Pick like Long Strider if another class doesn't have it. Long Strider is a great spell. Okay, level eight, level three bard, we're going College of Swords. This is what really gives you that duelist flavor with these um, flourishes. A lot of people that play 5e don't like the swords bard because it makes bards use bardic inspiration for themselves rather than the group. But in this build, it works real well. Fighting style, take dueling. Obviously, you're a duelist. Grab whatever, probably gonna replace this. All right, cantrips, yeah, literally whatever you want. Same for this second level spell. All my ability scores are even, so I'll just take actor. Actor, it doubles your proficiency bonus in deception and performance, and it caps out your charisma, so yeah, we'll take that. 
All right, this is when we get third level spells. Hypnotic Pattern, we're for sure taking Hypnotic Pattern. And then I'm gonna replace like Bane for something like, uh, let's probably go with Plant Growth. Plant Growth is a good spell. I have yet to use Plant Growth in one of my build in actions, but trust me, it's really good. All right, probably pick like Fear. Fear is a good spell. All right, this is when you get fourth level spells. You want to pick up freedom of movement. This is mostly because with the gear I've selected, I don't have a way to have this effect on myself through gear. So you're going to want to pick that up. Dimension door is a really good spell. You could pick up greater invisibility. I tend to not benefit as much from greater invisibility. I feel like it's a bit better on casters that are not in melee. So I'm going to go with dimension door. Also your to hit is going to be so high on this build. You don't even need advantage to hit most things. All right. So now that I've shown you the level breakdown, we're gonna go over the gear breakdown. So if you don't want spoilers for gear and items, then go ahead and click off. So to start off, to give ourselves 22 charisma, we went ahead and got the birthright hat on. This is real nice. It, it gives you 22 charisma with bind pack weapon. It makes your bonus plus nine, which is real nice. And uh, we'll get to the sword in a second. Then we have Cloak of Protection. This adds plus one to your armor class and saving throws. I mostly got this because compared to our other builds, 22 armor class is actually pretty low, which is crazy to say. So yeah, I just added a little more protection. Then Warlocks and Bards do not get heavy armor proficiency, but I have the Helldusk armor. This armor is really, really good. I have this on my main character. It is heavy armor, but you are considered proficient with this armor while wearing it. Also, I feel like like the Helldusk items just go really well aesthetically with the Fiend Warlock vibes that Will has. You also get Infernal Retribution. When you succeed saving throws, the caster receives burning for three turns. That's really nice. And then you get Fire Resistance and you cannot be burned and you take three less damage from all sources. And you also get a free casting of the Fly spell. So that's real nice. Then you got the Helldusk Gloves. This adds a bonus to your spell attack rolls and spell save DCs. So your, your spells are going to hit better with this. You get 1d6 fire damage added to your weapon attacks, which is real nice. And then you, you also get the Rays of Fire spell, which you cast once per day. Once per short rest, actually. And yeah, it does... <laughs> 9 to 54 damage, so if you're like wanting to do some ranged fire damage once per short rest, that can be nice. And then we have the Helldusk Boots. The Helldusk Boots, you cannot be forcibly moved by a foe's spells or actions, and you ignore the effects of difficult terrain. And then when you fail a saving throw, you may use your reaction to succeed instead. This is once per long rest. You also get this awesome bonus action teleport that does 2 to 16 fire damage within a 10 feet radius. Super fun, super flavorful, and and then the sword. This is such a perfect sword for this build. It is the Duelist prerogative. It's a plus three sword, first of all. You get Elegant Duelist while your offhand is empty. You score a critical hit when rolling a 19. Moreover, you gain an additional reaction per turn. This additional reaction per turn situation is crazy because you have to read that very specifically. This isn't an additional reaction per round. This is an, an additional reaction per turn that also includes your enemy turn. So you're getting extra opportunity attacks. With this build, you're getting extra cast of Hellish Rebuke. Also, on a hit with a melee weapon, you can use a reaction to deal additional necrotic damage equal to your proficiency bonus. That means that if you get an attack of opportunity, every turn you have a chance to also be able to cast withering cut on them which adds i think it's plus five at this level yeah plus five so you get a ton of reactions so i forgot to add this bow when i was doing the build in action but basically this is the same bow i had on the druid build will as a bard warlock he won't be able to be proficient in long bows so i went ahead and got him a short bow this is mostly useful for just giving him a way to do a ranged attack when he can't cast eldritch blast for example if I I do an attack and then I killed something in front of me and then I don't have movement and I need to attack something at a distance. This will be helpful for that. It also gives you cold resistance. You already had fire resistance. And then you also can cast haste once per day. So that's real nice. I have this ring on a lot of my builds. The thing is, Will will be making four attacks per round if he has his bonus action available. So having plus two acid damage on every hit give you plus eight damage per round. That's really nice. And then this build is not as tanky as my other builds. So I went ahead and added the ring of restoration. Get a little key 
healing. And then the Amulet of Ball on a hit, inflict bleeding upon targets that have maximum hit points. This also works with Eldritch Blast. This is not just melee hits. I was surprised by that too. And then one thing I forgot to mention, I said a second ago, four attacks. It's because of the Duelist Enthusiasm. While you are not dual wielding, you may make an additional melee attack with the dueler as a bonus action. So we get four attacks. Also, this is technically not part of the build gear that you're gonna be wearing, but if you have these two necklaces, you can buff yourself with freedom of movement at the beginning of the day. It's a level four spell. And then you can give yourself the spell slot back. And then you can buff yourself with armor of Agathis at level three, and then you can get your spell slot back. All right, so that is the gear. I feel like it's very thematic with the Fiend Warlock duelist combination. I feel like the bard is also really fun. I didn't do this in the build in action, but you you could technically, when you're fighting enemies that are like neutral, that you're planning on attacking, you could perform in front of them, enter turn base mode, and then they will be all gathered around you. And then you can turn around and fireball them. Which is pretty crazy. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go to the build and action section. So see you over there. Dude. Always make sure to bind your pack weapon. If you don't bind your pack weapon, you're gonna have a rough time. Let's start with Eldritch Blast, which will add bleeding because of the necklace I have on. So I wasn't able to reach here fully, but I have this awesome Hellcrawler teleport. I'm gonna be able to get them all with some fire damage. I feel like it's very fitting thematically with Will being a Fiend Warlock too. Anyway, then Withering Cut as a reaction. And I get my third attack because of my Pact of the Blade. Withering Cut again as another reaction. And also, this is one thing that's a little bit broken about this. So I used two reactions to attack her, but for some reason, it seems like I have two reactions when it's my turn and two reactions when it's other people's turn. <laughs> so it's kind of OP if you have a lot of reaction abilities. Wow, wow, 35 Hellish Abuse. That's crazy. Oh yeah, uh, another Hellish Abuse. Let, let's do that one. Oh, 20 damage. Nice, she's dead. Okay, um, and also, I'm going to show you some of the really cool stuff about this build is the flourishes that you get with Bard Swords Bard. So check this shit out. I can attack both of them at the same time. Big damage. And just to show you more, again, this build doesn't have as high of AC as other builds. If you're really feeling threatened, you can raise your armor class after I do this attack. It'll raise my armor class. Uh, for until the end of my next turn, I think. And then there's also a push attack flourish. It's called mobile flourish. <coughs> I can add withering cut to the dead person. It has this unique ability where you can teleport to the person you flourish, but she's dead, so. I'm at disadvantage, I'm pretty sure because of, oh, oh, she blinded me but I'm still able to hit. Like, I have a plus 14 to hit, so even if I'm blinded, it's very hard to miss. And then we're gonna bonus action, Dueler's Enthusiasm. And there we go, yeah. I I was blinded, and uh, I was able to do all four attacks on her, so. Hellish Rebuke. Hellish Rebuke level two, why not? You're healed now. Oh, Hellish Rebuke? Oh, okay. Like, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Light spoilers if you haven't really explored the lower city ruins much. What, what, what's Fireball gonna do to this area? I feel like it's not gonna be good. Let's see. Okay, let's try it out. Sick. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. And then, um, honestly, let's just Eldritch Blast his ass. Oh my god. So yeah, we, we, we knocked him down. I actually wasn't. I actually wasn't able to. But we killed that guy anyway. We got a crit. That one's dead. So we're gonna bonus action. Teleport here. I need to get a little closer to these guys. 
Oh my god. That did a lot of damage. Flashing flourish. There we go. Perfect. We killed like three guys. There's just so many guys. Hell's rebuke. Die. And we got more dark ones blessing hit points. That's good. Hell's rebuke. <laughs> more dark ones blessing hit points. So dead. You can do it to two people. That's crazy. Okay. These guys these guys are pretty beefy, so uh And they're both dead. And there <laughs> you go. Yeah, so if you enjoyed that build, uh please consider liking the video and subscribing. You guys all have a great day and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.